Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Our topic of our discussion is muscarinic antagonists used as bronchodilators. The short-acting muscarinic antagonists are iprotropium bromide, only one drug is available. Long-acting muscarinic antagonists, LAMA, arteriotropium, glycopyronium bromide, amiclidinium bromide, aclidinium bromide. These drugs can cause dilation of larger airways. Uh, because beta 2 agonists they cause uh, bronco, bronchiolar dilation that is smaller uh, airways dilation these drugs are more useful in uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease than in bronchial asthma these drugs are less efficacious and uh, slower acting bronchodilators when compared to the beta 2 agonists let us see how this works there are the muscarinic receptors which are present in the respiratory tract when an allergen uh, binds to the sensory receptors in the respiratory tract, the cholinergic nerve fibers of the respiratory tract release acetylcholine that binds to the bronchial smooth muscle. Other inflammatory mediators also contribute to bronchoconstriction. The vagal afferents convey the message to the central nervous system. So, as then at the more number of acetylcholine binds to muscarinic receptors and the airway smooth muscle uh, increases the bronchial secretions and causes bronchoconstriction. So let us see this. So this is a normal airway uh, which is supplied with the parasympathetic nerve that is 10th uh, uh, cranial nerve vagus and uh, it, it doesn't affect the bronchio, it doesn't cause bronchoconstriction in normally. But in case of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, Due to acetylcholine, it, it, it is constricted because of increased secretions. When you give muscarinic antagonist, it causes relief from the bronchoconstriction. Teotropium and amiclidinium are longer acting than iprotropium. Teotropium is used in long term prophylaxis of bronchial asthma, but it is used with uh, in combination with uh, corticosteroids. Amiclidium is used for maintenance treatment of airflow obstruction in COPD. These drugs are bronchodilators of choice in patients of bronchial asthma who are on beta blocker therapy because in that patients a beta 2 agonist will be ineffective. They take any beta 1 blocker and it, uh, the, the, those kind of patients the beta 2 agonist will not work properly. Adverse effects inhalation anticholinergics are well tolerated. High doses can cause untoward bitter taste, which may decrease the patient complaints. Nebulized hypertropium may precipitate a glaucoma in elderly. Long acting muscarinic antagonists can cause dry mouth, which is self resolving, and in elderly, it may cause urinary retention. So, it's a very short information of muscarinic antagonists used as bronchodilators. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel for further updates. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. Number of series of videos are available in respiratory pharmacology in the Pharma, uh, Pharma Topics channel. Uh, there are many videos which are related to GPAT, many videos which are related to uh, the cardiovascular pharmacology, uh, GAT pharmacology antimicrobial therapy, chemotherapy and uh, pharmaceutical jurisprudence videos are also available. Kindly go through it and make use of it from the Pharma Topics channel. Thank you.